Okay, what an important character you've been every season or so when you've shown up. Let's remember all of the good times as we send you off. When you used to be a reporter, then you owned a cafe we never see you at, where you employed little Richard for a day and held that borderline illegal treasure hunt with a radio station. That montage shamelessly promoting Universal Studios, sometimes Mitch and you were dating. Oh, and who can forget that school for the blind you volunteered at one time. Ah, the memories. But now it's over. Thank God we have one last memory to make with you today, in a boring episode about a surfer you knew who died. Thanks for whatever you did, Kay. Kay might be sailing away from Baywatch's shores, but don't you worry, Pamela Bach fans, because she will show up in two other episodes as two other characters, and in a Baywatch Nights episode as a third character, because I guess we're just not supposed to notice she prominently recurred on the show before. I feel like such a bummer lately, guys, but unfortunately, this episode plays like cancer. And I don't just say that because one of the plots literally is about cancer. Hey Logan, my sister has cancer, so you should spend a lot of money on the wedding to make my day extra special! Since when does Stephanie have cancer? Oh, we found that out six episodes ago. Was that before or after we were engaged? I don't know, did we get engaged last year or last episode? Caroline, are we characters in a TV show? Oh my god! Ah! Uh... Meanwhile, Neely wants Logan to help her produce a poster as a follow-up to her photo shoot with Inside Sports. She wants him to work the business end to raise money and develop a marketing strategy and a distribution deal for... her poster? Like a, a poster deal or... I mean, is he her agent or is this just like a poster market? Is Inside Sports even involved? Because you kind of need their permission to use their photos. I'm confused about everything. It's a genius plan, Logan. Just think of the money we'll be rolling in if we corner the single bootleg poster distribution market. Neely might be an incredible supervillain, but she's pretty bad at business if she claims this is Logan's area of expertise. His one business venture so far has been stealing his friend's swimsuit designs, sleeping with a rich guy's daughter to try and sell them, and then getting written out of the deal altogether for being a thief. Hey, staff, we have to rearrange the schedule. Numi is not available. You're not a staff. And I would know. I'm a detective. So Stephanie is going to get the cancer scooped out of her leg finally, and then it'll be determined if it's localized or if she's got something more to worry about. Her boyfriend, Dr. Tom, lets Mitch know what her prospects are as if he's discussing a car he just purchased. If it spreads to the lymph glands, the survival rate drops to 14%. 14%? Well, well, look who's come crawling back to me now that I have cancer. Die mad about it, bitch Von Malibu. It's Mitch Von Malibu. Mitch! Oh, she looks so awful. She doesn't even get to wear a crop top for this. I swear, if this cancer upstages my wedding, I'm gonna be so pissed. I can hear you over there, butthole. <laughs> I mean, at least Stephanie put on a full face of makeup for this so she can be ready for the cancer photo shoot afterwards. Shall we? Okay. Oh my god, he sneaks in a full on the mouth kiss. Mitch, you dog. Kay has an old surfer friend who might be more than a friend. He means so much to her, that guy. Therefore, I am invested. I will be super heartbroken if something should happen to him at his last surfing competition before retirement. Well, we should go catch some waves sometime. I'm sure gonna be around. Good God. Oh no! This is an episode so bored with itself, it's just using the same surfing footage from Forbidden Paradise. Which, I remind you, was the last episode! I will give Last Wave this. There is a harrowing Numi rescue. And I have to say, alongside getting his head smashed into ground beef on nights, he is having no luck lately. Okay, I spoke to the doctor who performed the autopsy on Wes. He said he died from a blow to his head. So you can't blame me for this one. Meanwhile, on a lighter note, cancer. Oh, it's you two. Oh well, at least you gotta see how much better at cancer I am than you. <laughs> well, after all of that buildup, Stephanie is cancer free, baby. She will enjoy many more seasons of Baywatch to come, and nothing bad will ever happen to her. Her melanoma did not reach the lymph nodes. Yeah, someone tell Hulk Hogan I'm gonna be okay. I know he was worried. Congratulatory crop tops for everyone! Well, 
I don't know. Maybe the Logan and Neely plot won't be based on something so depressing. Let's see. Weddings are for losers, Logan. Join me and we can become the ultimate evil super couple. Well, I never really thought about it, but I guess. <laughs> well, that engagement didn't even last a whole episode. Pretty cool conclusion to that story. Hope her big sister doesn't overshadow her with her own engagement. Will you marry me? Yes. This won't stand! Caroline reverses and ruins Stephanie's engagement announcement with her breakup announcement. Logan and I are not getting married because we just broke up. <laughs> well, at least Kay's story ends on a good note with her crying and never seen on the show again. <laughs> See you as your next character, Hoffwife! Next time on Baywatch Nights, Mitch has yet another old friend who needs help. Imposters, intrigue, stupid hats. Boing, boing, boing.